We learned the name of the two Danville police officers involved in last weekend's deadly shooting. We'll have more on that. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carl. And I'm Lindsay Ward. We've also learned new details about the investigation. Officers Christopher Simpkins and David Branch are currently on administrative assignments while state police investigate the death of 25 year old Juan Jones. You may remember Jones was killed as police were attempting to arrest him for allegedly assaulting a woman. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstead is live outside the Danville Police Department tonight. Now, Coulter, I understand you've also uncovered other new information. That's right, John. Today, state police confirmed that no gun was found at the scene. The medical examiner's office in Roanoke has confirmed that Jones was shot twice and died from a gunshot wound to the chest. A toxicology report is also being done. Now, about 20 minutes ago, there was a group of about 15 or so people gathered on the steps here behind me outside the police department. They said they were planning some kind of event, uh, generally speaking, calling for justice in the wake of the officer-involved shooting. Yesterday, body camera footage from the shooting was released. It shows Jones making an abrupt motion towards the officers after ignoring their commands to get out of his car and show his hands. When he made that motion, he was shot. There were uh, four gunshots heard on the video. Prior to that point, officers had tried to tase him, but according to the police department, it is believed that the brush he was standing in, the brush Jones was standing in, that is, uh, prevented the taser from working properly. Today, we spoke to a local criminologist and a retired police officer about his assessment of the video. This appeared that the officers were trying their best to try to get the subject to comply, and he just failed to do so. Todd Burke says the video and this incident as a whole can be a learning experience for both police and the community. I'll explain that coming up tonight on 10 News at 6. For now, though, live in Danville, Coulter Anstat, 10 News, working for you.